So if you're getting knee pain in the front of the knee, below the kneecap, with bending and going downstairs, chances are you probably have what we call it a subpatellar tendinopathy. Uh, here today, I'm going to help you help yourself with fixing your knee pain. Subpatellar tendinopathy is when the tendon can be inflamed or overused with too much activity, generally with any repetitive bending, squatting, or jumping. So if you're an athlete, you're playing a lot of volleyball, playing a lot of basketball, a lot of jumping, or if you're a runner and you suddenly increase the load of your training, where you probably haven't trained in a while, maybe it's been the pandemic, it's been about a year or six months since you last done that activity, and you start playing that sport or you start running every day. Now, that sudden change in load is going to upset that tendon at the knee because it hasn't had a chance to build up its tolerance or build up its capacity to support the load, the forces and the stress that you're putting on it. So it's a very classic injury that I see coming into the clinic. A lot of my patients that are restarting their sport, restarting their activity, and now it's set them back a couple of weeks. So it's good intentions, A for effort, but it's really important that you gradually build up to your sport. So setting the frequency low, maybe one to three times a week, moderate amount, and then slowly build over the next few weeks because the tendon likes a slow progression in your activity. But today I'm gonna to show you some easy exercises, some easy tips to help fix your patellar tendinopathy, to help fix your knee pain so you can get back in your sport. So the first exercise you're gonna perform is a box squat with a weight on a dumbbell that's moderate weight, five to 10 pounds. You're gonna use your sofa here. This is a front view, dumbbell at your chest, feet shoulder width apart with your feet turned out slightly. You're gonna keep the dumbbell at your chest, stand up, and slowly come back down, touch your butt against the seat, hold for a second, come back up. For a side view here, same idea. The back of my calves are against the edge of the sofa, sitting back, bowing those hips, keeping the chest tall, coming back up. Really focus on bending the hips, then bowing forward, bending the knees, touch, come back up. Now, so for some of you, this seat may be too low and it's causing tension in the knee. So what you're gonna do is grab a pillow to elevate the seat so that you don't have to go as deep. So here, same idea. Squatting back, sit back, touch your butt against the pillow and come back up. The whole goal here is to retrain the squat movement so that it's relatively pain-free. Once you can achieve full depth, you can actually increase the weight to strengthen the knees. The next exercise here is a wall squat hold. You're gonna put your butt against the wall, bend the knees only slightly, so about halfway to parallel. So this would be parallel, full, we're gonna go about halfway. So it's about maybe 45 degrees knee bend, hands on your chest, and you're gonna hold this for about 30 seconds and perform this three times. The whole goal here is to activate the muscles that surround the knee. You should feel some warmth in the muscles in your butt, the muscles in the front of your thigh and the back. And that's really gonna help gradually load that tendon, increase the blood flow, get that tendon warm, and also improve the healing of that tendon. What you'll notice is that it also creates a pain relieving effect, an analgesic effect. So after you perform two to three sets, that knee will actually feel a lot better. The last exercise here are some banded side steps. You're gonna place a loop around your ankles. You can also use a long TheraBand and tie it around your legs. Sit down first, put it around the ankles, okay. And if you don't have much space in your living room, you're just gonna do two step, side steps to the left, two side steps to the right. I'll demonstrate here. So you're gonna come into a semi-squat position, bent over two steps to the side, not too big, and then two steps to the other side. The whole goal here is to stay low, and you're gonna keep that tension on that band. You're just taking a half step, left and right. Here you're gonna be engaging your glutes, really strengthening those hip muscles that are gonna support the knee. Cool. 
Hopefully those three exercises helped you. I think it's also important to pair that with a proper exercise routine and a return to sport program. I will post another video on that. If you guys comment below and if you enjoy this video, I can definitely make more videos on returning to sport. Uh, I would recommend as well as deloading. So taking a break from your sport activity for about a one to two weeks and then slowly building back up into your programming. I can go over that again in another video. Do these exercises for about 10 to 10 reps to two sets every day and then slowly build back up before you get back into your sport. So the, the most important thing is that you deload from your exercise. So that's how we do the reprogramming. You're giving that tendon, you're giving that knee a break while you're doing your rehab and your recovery. Once symptoms are manageable, meaning that you're able to squat down at full range, walking up and down stairs is, is no longer painful, you're able to run pain-free, able to walk pain-free, then you can slowly get back in your sport. Just start slowly, keep the frequency low, one to two times a week, maybe about an hour or two hours, depending on what sport you play, and then build back up from there. So I hope that helped with your injury. Once again, I am Tyler Chong. I am a physio. Welcome to my online physio clinic. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out to build on this space. And I hope I can keep making educational videos for you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time. Peace.